Thanks, Chad. Well, this weekend is the annual Jerry Lewis MDA Labor Day Telethon. Laura Kirtley introduces us to a local teenager who's living with the neuromuscular disease. Miriam Whitlock has a passion for animals, so it only made sense we'd find the McCutcheon freshman at one of her favorite places, watching the ducks at Columbian Park. I want to do something with animals, like maybe open a zoo or stay animals in the wild. Miriam was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy in 2001 after her kindergarten teacher noticed she had trouble walking in a straight line. They sent us to the doctor and the doctor diagnosed, first they thought a brain tumor and then, then they sent us to Indianapolis. Miriam was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia. Pretty much told us that eventually she wouldn't walk, that, that she would not be able to use her hands as far as to be able to write. Recent surgery made it even more difficult for her to move. This means she needs a lot more help from her parents and siblings. But that hadn't stopped the teen from attending events like the MDA summer camp. So when it was canceled this year over fears of an H1N1 flu virus outbreak, she was disappointed. Kind of a bummer. I didn't get the good. But it was for a good reason. Kids with muscular dystrophy already have a weakened immune system, so organizers didn't want to take that risk. Nevertheless, the Whitlock family says they depend on the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Steve Whitlock says he never believed this disease could affect his family. Seeing Jerry Lewis on the telephone, watching it once in a while, but never thinking that it would ever affect us in any way. But it did. For now, though, Miriam says any glimmer of hope gets her through the day. Laura Kirtley, News Channel 18. The 2009 Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon it will air from 8 p.m. Sunday through 6.30 p.m. Monday right here on WLFI.